Hi, my name is Jared Gross, and since I started this channel over a year ago, I've been going to various projects where 3D printing is being implemented in construction. This channel is dedicated to automated construction because there's a shortage in the construction labor industry, even as unemployment numbers surge. There's a major need for affordable housing in America and around the globe. These technologies have the ability to alleviate some of these pressures. At the moment, the young 3D printed construction industry is just getting started. But as economies of scale improve, the cost basis to get into a 3D printed home will constantly be decreasing. It hasn't been all bad news in 2020. These five projects that I'm about to share with you are pushing the boundaries of construction technologies and showing the world the potential of automated construction. As we explore these five unique concepts, try to think about the unique design implications of this technology and the ways it can be further explored in the future. Without further ado, we'll start with one that I saw myself in Nelson, British Columbia, Canada. Here's an image of the 3D printed Fibonacci house by Twenta Additive Manufacturing. This 3D printed shelter is in the shape of the Fibonacci sequence or a Fibonacci spiral. This is a 360 video I was able to take with a camera while I was there. It's still under construction in this image, but since then they've installed the doors and the windows. This project is so great because it uses so much exposed 3D printed concrete and also the design of the Fibonacci sequence would have been completely cost prohibitive using traditional construction methods. This is a great iteration of automated construction technology because without it, this project may not have been possible. For more details about this project and this company, you can check out the tour I did of the Fibonacci house on my YouTube channel, or listen to one of the two podcast episodes that I've done with the founders of Twenta Additive Manufacturing. I've also done a video touring their facility and another describing how to operate their concrete printer in 12 simple steps. This next project comes from the Czech Republic. It was designed by architect Skolt, and Berinka is the owner of the project. Like the Fibonacci house, this is done with off-site construction. The elements are then brought on-site to their final resting place. Although, unlike the Fibonacci house, the final resting place of this house is not on solid ground. The Pravac house is extremely unique because it's going to rest on water. It took 22 hours of printing time to build and weighs a whopping 43 tons. Despite how heavy it is, it's able to float on the river, making it somewhat of a mobile home. You can see the design elements are well thought out. The walls, instead of just being perfectly flat, have a curvature to them that is completely unique to the 3D printed concrete. The layers were printed at 15 centimeters a second and the building is expected to last at least 100 years. This longevity and long lifespan of this project is one of the aspects of concrete that makes it so appealing. From a sustainability perspective, the longer something can be in use, the better. Clearly, there are many parts of this house that were not printed, like the roof system. They've implemented a green roof, which has live plants on top of this floating building. Would you like to live on this 3D printed houseboat of 43 square meters? The inside is actually very well furbished by using a big variety of materials They've created a space that's very inviting and comfortable. So inviting, in fact, that they've already had 7,000 people tour this Pravac house in Czech Republic. This next project is a very significant milestone for India. Here, you can see the work done by Tvasta and their concrete 3D printer. They're printing these three elements of the house at the same time. With its enormous population, India might have the highest need for affordable housing of any country in the world. 
So this technology is particularly appealing to them. This is the finished product by Tavasta. They held an event where people were able to check out the house and tour the inside. You can tell that the exterior has been finished to make it smooth rather than the regular printed concrete that you've seen on the Prevac house and the Fibonacci house. When you finish the concrete this way, you make it very difficult to differentiate between a printed house and a house built with regular concrete and formwork. This can be done with plaster or shotcrete and makes it so that one day you may live in a 3D printed house without even knowing it. Most real estate developers interested in doing projects in India want to do apartment complexes that are at least three to five units. With this first single family unit, Fasta has demonstrated their competency with the technology and I'm sure they'll be further exploring their capabilities with their printer in the future. Perry is a German construction company that has much experience with traditional construction projects. They've invested heavily in Cobot, a manufacturer of concrete 3D printer, and now they're starting to develop their own projects. You can see Perry is bringing the traditions of German engineering into this project by thinking through all of the fine details and exploring all kinds of new efficiencies and potential for their concrete printer. This manifests in the mechanical and electrical systems of the building and also the second floor. The fifth house is an exciting project by Apis Core taking place here in America in Louisiana. By completing this feasibility study of building their own two-story printed house, they'll get reliable data on the cost and scheduling of the project. This design uses a ton of printed concrete, so it will be very interesting to see their cost analysis when they're ready to publicly share that information about this project. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get all the updates I post about the automated construction space and 3D printed construction. Just by clicking the like button, you're helping me to promote this incredible, inspiring industry. If you'd like to do something more, you can go to habitat.org slash donate to give money to Habitat for Humanity where they'll put your dollars to work now in helping alleviate the affordable housing problem. Architects are only beginning to explore the possibilities this technology has to offer in tandem with parametric design. Creative minds are shaping the way we will live in the future. If I haven't had the chance to cover your project yet, reach out to me in the comments and I'll see what I can do.